Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. So, um, apologies about the noise. We have the windows open and our vent system running because spray paint's happening today. Yep, you heard me. Hi, Susan. Um, so yeah, spray paint's happening today. So we have a window open, so maybe loudness, maybe not, but apologies. Hey guys. So today I'm going to show y'all, we're going to show y'all how to finish the back of your coasters after you paint them like your fluid coasters and your black the back of them looks a little bit raggedy this is going to be your solution it's going to be a quick video we got family coming into town dinner's on the stove okay Susan, I didn't, but if you could tag me, that'd be awesome. All right, well, these aren't really bad. Yeah, these are, this is pretty bad. So I pulled a ceramic tile, a clear one, and then an MDF one. All right. Um, well, we're going to have to use, I guess we can just use this for right now. Um, this is, I think I have like 80 grit on here. This is reusable sandpaper. What? I was going to show you guys this. It's see-through so I guess it doesn't get clogged um, but That's it, pretty it, awesome. it wears down but um, not too fast so so it's um, not forever sandpaper it's just no. reusable it said it's used reuse up to 10 times more I don't know um, but what we do is just this is already dry so you're just gonna turn this on it's gonna be loud <laughs> I would definitely use a mask. You just get in your corners. I was waving. Too bad. Um, there's really no way of getting all of the resin off, and if the only thing you really want is just to have these four corners or these two corners, you know, all these just level enough when you put your bumpers on. Um, well, typically we same, clean this up a little bit more. And the same with well, if when the bumpers are, are there, this is, I mean, this is on there. I mean, you could probably sand that off if you really wanted to, depending on what you um, want the look to be. How, how how bad it is, how drastic the resin is. Um, these aren't too bad. If if you don't like this, um, hit it with a little eighty grit. Hey, I think, Par Harley. I think this is, And the sides aren't too bad on these, so no, no use to getting the sander out. You just hit it real quick. This is 150, like I said, or 180 or something. Um, this one? And then with our acrylic ones, really all you have to do is just get something to scrape this to start it. Or that. Hey, and Amy. Just Mary. Peel it off. There's these your cleanup. Edges just come right off. And there is no sanding whatsoever on these. Looks like a fingerprint on there. But um, and I wanted to kind of show you guys what we how we do these bumpers. Um, so if you're if you're doing something like this, just know that you're gonna put a bumper on it on the back side. 
So if you're gonna be doing the design, it's gonna be see-through. Try to, like a, a wave, try to make the wave come you know, up and over and just try to make it to where there's something that would be in the way of your bumper or you're gonna see your bumper. If you don't mind it, don't worry about it. Um, you definitely will see the bumpers on here. Um, so what I would do is I'd put one here, put one here, put one more on right under there and one here. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. They um, make clear ones, but the ones we have are kind of Unless you're gonna large. spray them, that's completely up to you. And this is actually our, what it's is ornament. this? Uh, ornament, yeah. So, and Everybody's this asking is about your shirt. Hack. Oh, I made this on the computer. I, it's, a, it's somebody's design I found on Pinterest. Um, is go to the dollar store and buy towels. Uh, towels are perfect to paint your, your coasters, to paint your artwork on, uh, so that you don't have to tape off the back or the front. Uh, just put, put your coasters or your artwork down, kind of give it a little push. Let's see, what color is this? We got some teals. And we then, have a little bit of And that way, you don't have to tape this off. You're not wasting time taping it off. And, and what this does is the, the towel kind of gives it a buffer. You don't have to spray a lot. You're just covering up a little bit of space. With that set, and what do we got here? This is grayish silver. Let's see here. Let me put the sticker white. back on the front. So yeah, we use the towel to protect the front. You can also just tape it off and. And if you don't, and if you don't use um, the typical spray paint cap um, that normally comes with spray paint, it just kind of blasts it. Um, you can buy these on our website. They're a little bit better cap. They're a little bit more control. So not a, a, a lot of paint comes out. Will you do an airbrush? Nope. Spray paint cap tutorial Ooh, let's demo. Do this. Let's put, let's see, you can also do some fun stuff. Got some gold here. Just get you a little pop of color so it matches the front. Um, so, also, if your spray paint isn't, or whatever you seal the back of your coasters with, you're concerned about water um, with MDF making the coaster. Not a bean. Um, oh my goodness. Swell. If water hits it, um, use a polycrylic or a Mod Podge to further seal it in if that's a concern uh, for you. These are just cabinet bumpers that you can get at any hardware store. That's what they have to make sure when your cabinets close, it doesn't like slam their well, adhesive. You can put them in each corner. I mean, not like they're a huge thing and it'll tip over. That's your prerogative of where you put them. Your prerogative. Um, I have a bunch of these I need to do. Are you going to do another one? Well, what, I, what, I, what I've been doing with these is... Normally I paint them the same color, but I'm really not 
I kind of want them all to be cohesive because people mix and match these. And so I thought, why not just do like a, uh, or what do you call it? Like a space, kind of like a, a galaxy theme because a lot of these have, you know, a sparkle, a little something to them. And there's so many different colors. And I really, and if you just don't feel like getting each color out and spraying it and worrying about other colors getting on those, this is a perfect way to do this. Just make them all kind of the same just, on the back? Yeah, just kind of give them all a good, Um, anytime you use an aerosol or sand, have a respirator and change your filters out often. This is due. Also, also, there are different kind of filters for different things that you're doing. They filter out different stuff, so keep that in mind. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that we're Artists Till Death. It says so right on Jeff's shirt. Right there, bam, artiststilldeath.com. We are Erica and Jeff. And if you guys are going to be in Frisco, Texas tomorrow. <laughs> Come out to a pokey show. Collecticon. All right, so. Hey, hey y'all. Is that me? It is not me. Currently do not have gauged ears. But. It's so funny when people ask. That. Be, I'm your muse. You guys, does this look like. Erica. Yes. I wish I could pull off duck face like that. That is you. It is. I heard that piece. So what goes on here? It's just kind of random colors. I got you, Leopold. We have a fan on right now and the window's open, so it's everything is going in and out right here. You don't need to be over here for this, but lay down. It does have a little bit of a pink look to her, doesn't it? Ooh. Make sure your fan's on, wearing a respirator, y'all. Here's a this if you want it. Ugh, ugh. My bad. All of this makes me want to do A unicorny, mermaidy. Is this painting? Yeah, you just covered up all the awesome purple and teal. Well, you have to you have to cover up some, and then you go back over the, the colors that you. You have to do it fast, or you will cover up a lot of your. This is a good fix if you really don't feel like having a plain background and there's no artistic ability whatsoever to it. I gotta turn the stove off. Can you hold this for just a second? Why are you doing that? So all you do, just take your caps. So, and we just got a bunch of new caps. Um, we just have to make the little packets so you guys can get them online. And that's what's good about these caps is <clears throat> you see that line. Like this cap is really good at, you know, getting a nice control and not a lot of paint is coming out. And there you go. And then what you can do if you want a little black, just... I'm just barely pushing on the spray paint cap. My goodness, I would love to do lips with these exact colors. Okay. There you go. I was like, it's getting dark. No. How fun. 
Diane, hello, first time here running late, but watch the beginning later. Look forward to this. Well, I'm so glad you're here, Diane. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we're finishing the backs of coasters today. They look like this right now. And you can get these at Hi, Evelyn. Uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon. Any hardware store. So they're just sticky on the back. I think these might be old they are sticking to the paper. So they're self-adhesive. There are people that cut out cork the size of the coaster. I ain't got time for that. And there are people that cut out felt and adhere it. That's these the size just, of the coaster. I ain't got time for that. These must be old because these are like sticking to the, the paper and I'm not a fan of this. And this spray paint uh, dries really fast. It's true. Plus, it's a little hot. Got the window open, got the air on. If you do multiple uh, sets of coasters like this, see how there's outlines? When you go back and add another one, like say we did this whole however many coasters this is, get them done, pick them up, and put another set down to do the backs of. Make sure you line these up really well because oh. this is gonna stay. This is actually dry. Usually like, this is saturated before. I think it's because I just was doing it real fast. You dusted it? Yeah. All right, well typically this is gonna soak up the paint and not dry as fast as your coasters. So line it up. Better safe than sorry, et cetera. Anyways, this is how we finish Coasties. But I gotta go finish dinner. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Sorry it's a quick video, but we will be back live tomorrow. Well, I will be. Maybe I'll go live at, uh, Ooh, yeah. People always ask about booth setup, so I'm sure people will wanna know. What yeah, and like. these these uh these things are like are just like your art fair. I mean, it's just like an art fair, just different products. Mm -hmm. um, these people are pretty serious out here. They have humongous boots that you can walk into and under and under. Their shelves are like they go up and over the. That's the extra. Well, they have a lot of stuff. Like career booth people. Okay, Bowie, I'll get you your screen time. Hold on. Here you go, B. You just want to be on screen. You just trying to show off your little tea time, baby, baby puppy cut. Are you trying to show off your little tea time, baby, baby puppy cut. Look at how cute you are. Bowie, look how cute you are. Did you get a haircut? Did you get a haircut? My baby, 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 baby. Hello, Brian. Hello, hello. Bowie beans, I'm so cute. Okay. So anyways, do you guys have any questions that are in and around related to uh, coasters or anything else that we do that I can answer or what's up you have two minutes <laughs> Joe I'm still gonna try to figure out how to say your name I mess it up every time So anyways, um, yeah, if you're interested in the MDF coasters that we are pouring on or the clear ones, you can get them on our website. Clara just added the link, but it is artisttilldeath.com. Please take a minute to leave us your thumbs, subscribe if you like what you see, share the video if you like with all your friends and family and people. If you don't like it, share with people you don't like. And um, be kind to one another.
You never know what someone's going through. And always remember, here at Artist Till Death Studios, Dallas, Texas, Ugh. we do the tests. So you don't have to! I thought Bowie was going to bark and be part of it, but he didn't. So anyways, you guys, I got to, I know, he is adding all the stuff. Um, yeah, Jeff's uh, brother and two of his nephews are coming into town, so we got to go do fam fam stuff, but we will see you guys tomorrow. Till then. Bye. I said bye.